Welcome. You're watching the thrift store run down where we bring Hollywood home on a budget. Earlier this week, millions of single female sea nation stands had their hearts shattered upon hearing the news that their idol, their boyfriend and their head, John Cena, 16-time WWE World Champion, married for a second time in a secret Tampa, Florida courthouse ceremony following COVID-19 social distancing protocols. He read his girlfriend, Shay, in a low-key affair that left millions of seeing nascent stands, mostly in the opposite sex, devastated beyond repair. For this, John Cena, you are unforgiven. Yes, that was a really creepy and I guess somewhat cringeworthy way to introduce this next WWE pay-per-view up for review on DVD. Unforgiven from 2007, their 10th Unforgiven, taking place at the FedEx Forum in Memphis, Tennessee before 12,000 WWE Universe mega fans. I picked it up for $4.99. This was a tri-brand event, you know, tri-brand, Raw, SmackDown, and ECW. Remember, in 2007, they didn't have NXT. On the cover here is... The Phenom, the Dead Man, the Undertaker, who will soon have a commemorative 30-day event on WWE Network. 30 Days of the Dead Man. And if you're not down with that, I got three words for you. Rest in peace. Undertaker returns, spelling doom for Mark Henry. John Cena has revenge on his mind when he faces Randy Orton for the WWE Championship. Rey Mysterio and Batista challenge the Great Kali for the world Heavyweight Championship. Also, we have a WWE Tag Team Championship match and a World Tag Team Championship match between Matt Hardy and MVP vs. Deuce and Domino and Lance Kane and Trevor Murdoch vs. Brian Kendrick and Paul London. We have a Triple H vs. Carlito bout. No disqualifications for Carlito. No problem for Triple H. You'll see what I mean. A women's championship match just to spice things up between Beth Phoenix and Candice Michelle. And representing ECW for their coveted and lone championship, CM Punk vs. Elijah Buck. And of course, Undertaker vs. Mark Henry. Apart from winning time for this, they don't stay. But I assume it's about three hours. The disc played beautifully. It is rated TV-14, because I believe this was still in the, uh, Ruthless Aggression era. Yes, Ruthless Aggression. This wasn't exactly PG just yet. But it doesn't matter. Since they didn't spoil anything for me on the cover, front or back, I'm not spoiling anything for you. But what I will say is that you're in store for another awesome WWE Classic pay-per-view. One that gets the maximum waiting for WWE pay-per-views on TSR on DVD because there is no closed captioning. Four and a half out of five claps. And really no special features to report on other than a few backstage interviews. And that's about it. And seriously, congrats to John Cena and to Shay from being married. We wish you a lifetime of happiness. Although in the eyes of the Bella Army for breaking up with Nikki Bella, you remain. Unforgiven. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the fifth side.